All right, this is the process for how Reaper is set up uh, on the soundboard at South Creek. On the B fader bank, right here, as a stereo pair of faders. This is the playback coming out of Reaper, out of the audio computer. It is patched to 64, 63 and 64 on the MADI card, which on the computer will equate to outputs 31 and 32. Um, what I did was, if we open Reaper, the first thing I did was create a template. So when you open Reaper, if we go to File, go to Project Templates, House Mix Recording Template. That is, everything is default patched to where it needs to go. Um, so all you have to do is arm it and hit record. The live monitoring function is disabled. So if the faders are turned up on the soundboard, it won't create a feedback loop. Um, and I also, if you go to effects on the master bus, I built in a couple kind of quasi mastering features right into the master bus in Reaper. So if you just do a quick once over of the gain staging and trim the beginning and the end of your file, you should have a relatively ready to go mix. Um, the other thing I did was in the render option. So when you get everything edited and gain staged the way you want it, if you go to file and then render, all of the settings should be set. Uh, it looks actually like it's not. So let me do that real quick. You want to store, well, I'll go through it for you so you can see it. On the output uh, section right here where it says directory, if you go to browse, browse for directory, we want to render the file to the correlating date in Dropbox. So weekends, weekend content, uh, November 1, recordings folder, South Creek, and you can see here this is where the files are for this weekend's uh, recording. And so you just hit open, and it shows the file path right here. And then uh, let me go day, day, month, and then year. So what this will do is automatically drop in the date uh, of your recording. So you don't actually have to enter any information for the file name. It'll just automatically be pulled in there. And then this needs to be set to MP3. You probably go over there though. Um, so then all you, all you need to do, this will be set now. So in that template file. So then uh, really all you need to do is just select where it's gonna hit the browse and select where it's gonna render to and hit render. And then it will render it to that folder so then once that's done, you just need to go to the finder, locate to that folder, weekend content, whatever the date is, recording South Creek. And you'll see right here, it created the file by date and then just drag that into PCL. So that is the process for doing a recording for your house mix at South Creek.